Hey, orange one here. We're still in the lab. Um, I basically just grabbed the shot cannon and then went back to our uh, our car and dropped that off as well. So the loot. Um, we're just kind of finishing up the lab right now. Um, just yeah, we were right here when we got that shock cannon. Um, and there is still some stuff. Yeah, like the zombie scientist right here. Hold on. Sorry, just give me a second. Um, go ahead and get the gun out. And then I guess we'll just wait till we got our breath back. Oh, something just exploded. I think it was um, the fungal things that are above us that make that noise, I'm pretty sure. There we go. They're down. I would like to um, dissect that scientist, but... Like uh, I said, there's a ton of fungi right above us, and I'm a little bit concerned about them taking over this whole lab. So we're just gonna be, yeah, what are you, insane cyborg? I mean, I could actually program you to be my friend. Sure, let's do that. Yep, now you're my friend. Hello, friend. Another graduated cylinder. Okay, yeah. Yeah, I think that we have just about finished this lab. Okay, let's look at that spider. I think I can shoot that. And I think I might be able to um, kill all the spiders. I don't know. And I'm just kind of curious what's down this hallway. That's why we're going down it. And actually, our idiot friend here is kind of clearing a path too for us, which is kind of nice. Uh, what if I look in here? Uh, there might be something on the table. What's that? A portal? Um, I could try and disarm the portal. Yeah, I am nervous about that because that could potentially teleport me into a room with a turret and that could be like the end of the game, you know? Uh, it's very unlikely, but it could happen. Those uh, teleportation things, though, if you can get them, they're pretty, pretty nice. Okay, let's see, um, another spider. Sure, we can kill that. And anything else? I mean, I, I would feel wasteful if I didn't grab the batteries, you know? But it looks like our character can see the items that are kind of on the floor here. There's nothing that, that great. Okay. So, I've been down here, it looks like. Yeah, I love having this enhanced memory CBM that really helps with navigating places like this. Like, normally you might have a hard time keeping track of what's where. Um, that hazmat uh, robot does not seem to be hostile. Uh, how am I compared to the finale zone? Yeah, we're pretty far away from it, so I'm pretty sure that it is probably the only other robot around here. We might as well get a few friendly robots. Oh, what? The hazmat bot does not count as a robot. Okay, well, we'll take that out then. Little tractor thing or whatever. Oh, look, there's another mini nuke. Good god. This place is just full of mini nukes. Um, we are also getting a little bit hurt. It looks like. Um, how are we doing here? Uh, rat serum? Sure, I'll take rat serum. Yep, definitely we'll take that. How much do we have here? That's a fair amount of bleach. I don't I don't want to leave that, I don't think. I'm just gonna walk past this robot even though I killed their friend. And not friend, you know. Okay, it looks like I know I need to go over to the side there, but I was just kinda curious as to what we got here. And I've got a sneaking suspicion that they connect up to each other. It sounds like I'm hearing something that's like just right over there. Yeah. There's something that's just around the corner. Um, we'll go up. Wait, are you you're trying to fight it? Okay, that's kind of weird. I don't see why you're trying to fight that. <laughs> huh. I wonder why I could craft with that. There's probably some pretty cool things that we could craft. I don't know. Let's see. What do we have here? Nothing. Okay. Just give me a second, I'll be right back. Alright, I'm back. Sorry about that. Um, 
So, you know, I, I've i been thinking about uh, the nestled containers update. I, uh, oh, look at this. What, what do we have here? Gasoline zombie and some blobs. Uh, I'll, I'll deal with that. I'm just gonna just wait a minute. Oh, this is a bionic vault. Uh, sure. Um, unlock entrance. I mean, this might be kind of, uh, yes, let's quit. Can I look at the manifest? LED tattoo. That's like not very useful at all. Um, finger lighter is also not very useful, but it would be kind of moderately useful for us. Sure, we'll we'll uh, we'll go in. Let's uh, you know we we're gonna do our thing. Um. Oh nope. Never mind. I think we might be dead here. I'm not sure. Yeah. I mean, I, I'm gonna go auto on it. It's gonna tell me that I'm not gonna be able to hit it, I don't think. I think if we don't shoot now, we're gonna die. There we go. Oh my god. I can't believe that we survived that. That was like seriously super lucky. Um. Let's, uh, let's switch out our magazine as well there. I didn't know that those things were back there. Um, Jesus, man, that was so dumb of me. I should have, I, I should have hacked it. Now that I know, I'll hack it in the future. And I did that all for like what an LED tattoo or like this finger lighter CBM. Oh, it gives you a little bit of light. That's kind of cool. Um, and it doesn't look like we're going to be able to actually carry these things out of here. Can I actually... I'm going to just eat some of the battery power that we've got just here. Sure. That looks good to me. And then that should allow me to dump out those old batteries, right? And then will that let me take more? No, it will not. That wasn't enough. Hmm. I think we're in a bit of a conundrum. We can take the moderately useful thing, the lighter finger, or we can uh, do the LED tattoo. I think I'm gonna do the lighter one, finger because then that gives me just like one less thing I have to carry around in my pockets. And I think that's awesome. Um, and then we'll just wait a little bit Wait five minutes. Uh, ignore. Yeah, I think that that's just about good, right? Is it 250 exactly that it uses up? Yeah, 250 exactly, so we need a little bit more then. Okay. There we go. And we're looking good. Get more power back. Uh, I'm going to just leave the CBM here. And now if I forget to come back for that I'm gonna feel pretty dumb uh, get the gun out just because as we learned last that last encounter never hurts to have a gun out when you enter a room um, well, I mean, in real life it definitely would what is what is this in here it's some sort of like Ickus or like hellhound or something in there or sometimes the labs have like weird rooms Oh, so sorry, back to the nestled containers thing. Um, and oh, look, are, are we, our hand is hurting and we have our thermal kit on. So that's, uh, that's interesting. I didn't realize that could happen. Yeah, I, uh, I had updated, I'd played around with it and it deleted a number of my items um, that were on my person as well as in my car. And so uh, I reverted back and yeah, I mean, I really would like to uh, to do more with it because it's an awesome update. I, I think it's an absolutely amazing thing. South, I'm hearing click. Does that mean there's a turret that's like out of ammo? I think that that's what that means. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, I'm hearing clicking to my side there, but I don't need to go in there. 
The only thing that I would gain from that room is the thing that gives you the little map of the surrounding area. And yeah, as I've previously established, we kind of already know what's where. So we don't really need it. Okay, so we're getting a little bit close to the finale room. What is it that I can see from here? This looks like uh, like a CBM installation room or something like that, right? Is that what this is? Heavy disposable battery. I bet that's got power in it, though, if I need it. Yeah, something's gone and smashed their way out of here. Uh, southwest, I'm hearing brap, so... I've got a feeling... Oh, was that... I and mean, this looks like there's holes here and here. I think that there might be... This might be where that Hulk was or something. Well, there's a screecher there. Hello, screecher. What else is around here? I'm not gonna actually pulp you because you might actually help us in in the uh, future of taking this place. Um, yeah, I think that this was around where we saw that Hulk, right? Yeah, there's definitely some dead zombies still around here. Um, hmm. I mean, I'm hearing things shooting, which makes me nervous. Oh, is that what I think it is? Bruised corpse of a robotic cop. Now that's the one I might actually smash, because I think they have like cybernetics and stuff that can be a little bit nasty. Um, hmm. Something's, uh, some, something's made their way through here. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that this is the path of that Hulk cleared through. Um, not seeing any robots right now. Which is kind of uh, surprising me, because I know that they're around here. I bet that they've like all holed up in that, that big room, with the CBMs actually in them, in there. You know, like right here, I bet they're just, yeah, I think I just heard some of them. Yeah, they're just like right there. Um, part of me wants to open this to get a look at them. Part of me is concerned with how close that sound is to hear. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to do it. You know what I need to do, actually? Is I need to get some 2x4s and put them over these holes. Because the holes are just really annoying. Um, go ahead and wear this. And, uh, can I get my Jane out just for a second? There we go. That's what I'm looking for. I don't need many of these. Yeah, I just want to have, uh, yeah, nearby. Yep, and now we can step over that easy. And then... Oh, yeah, we can do the nearby. Sweet. And again, we can do the nearby. That's uh, it's pretty useful there. I like that. I'm gonna put my plank down though, and get the gun out because I suspect that Hulk maybe get about to wake up. Yeah, that that guy right there, that zombie Hulk. They might not. They might actually be our best bet for getting these uh, robots. I'm just gonna turn my light off, and then peek in here. What do we have? You can see one robot there. I'm gonna close that just for a second. And if I peek... Oh no, 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 no. Um, let's close that. Definitely don't want that. Now, the question is, is has he moved over to me? Yeah, the problem was with that was ice. He could see me standing where I was um, like directly okay so now that robot's gone over to that door is there any other ones uh, yes there is actually I heard beep okay so there's two of them I can see I I can handle that I don't need these robots or the zombies around anymore I'm gonna start smashing zombies yeah. 
not too concerned. I mean, it's definitely like, I don't want to be completely not cautionary because they do still have guns. It's just they're pretty low on ammo. You know? Uh, do I really want to step into the pit? Probably not. Um, do we have any planks around here? We do. Nice. Can I wield that plank, please? Yes, we're... I don't care. I just want to get next to that hole without it waking up, please. Perfect. Um, yeah, just get the gun out just in case. Okay, we're good. Alright, so the Hulk is smashed. Um, there's probably some other zombies that we need to keep an eye out for. But I think I'm going to just try and do something kind of like this till I get a good opportunity to shoot at them. Uh, I mean, this... Can I then go into the shadows here and see if I can... Yes, I can. Nice. Okay, well... I might see if I can get a shot off on them from here then. Yeah, if I can uh, shoot those robots. Yeah, this, this could go really well for me. Oh, I hit them for 73 damage. I'm going to just uh, step out of the way because I think they try and shoot where uh, they got shot from. Or that's what I thought I heard, I read somewhere. Okay, uh, where are you? Um, oh, they're coming for me. Uh-oh. This, this could be, this could be bad. Uh, have they seen me? They have. Um. I'm not really sure what to do here. Because they're going to keep on shooting at me. Do I have enough time to aim at them? Not really. Hmm. I think we're going to have to take some Hail Mary shots. I really don't like this. But um, I think we're just going to have to take some damage. I mean, they're not hurting me super bad, so it's f kind of fine. There we go. And I just step a little bit further into the darkness. Yes, I can. Perfect. Okay, so our armor, our riot armor actually got pretty badly banged up there. Um, can I navigate out and around? Yes, I kind of can. Cool. Um, Well, that begs the question is, I mean, if they have those kind of crummy guns, that wasn't the military rifles that I thought they had. Um, it kind of sounds like that one's just right there. So I'm going to actually go back to where we were. Yeah, because that would probably give us a better uh, shot, given where it sounds like he's at. Or not, maybe not. Um, I'm kind of hearing something to the south, maybe? Yeah, I'm not sure. I mean, I, I really should be fine, no matter what. Given that they weren't really doing as nearly as much damage as I thought they would to me. Okay, uh, yeah, they're actually all the way on the far side there. I'm just gonna close that and open and walk away. See if I can get that line of sight on you. Yes, I can. Cool. Or not. I had. Can I? Oh, they're coming. They're coming. Oh, they've, kind of, they've seen me. Can I run away? Kind of. Oh, he's, he's chasing me. <laughs> Can you see me now? You cannot. Okay, so I could kind of mess with you. Um, southeast, I'm hearing glass break. Is it shooting? Is that the glass breaking that I'm hearing? Um, I don't know. I mean, I, I know where it is. 
So I think that we should be able to get into the room now, undisturbed. Unless it sees me through the door. Oh, no, no, no. Very much gonna be disturbed. Did those just drop out of the sky? I swear those weren't there. I heard bang. Did they just shoot their friend? I'm pretty sure they just shot their friend. In any case, I know that there's two of them there. There's another one up in here, kind of somewhere. That I should be able to see. But now I can't. Hmm. Where are you? Did it go back into the room? Is that what I see I'm seeing? Okay, cool. I can see it. I don't think it can see me. Let's get a nice shot on it. Nice. Okay. Cool. I'm just gonna wait a little bit in there. The friend comes. Oh, where did they go? Oh, they're... Why is this not locking on there? There we go. He's gonna see me any second now. Why is this... It's really irritating me. I don't know if you can tell. There we go. Okay. I think that's all of them. What the heck? Do they just keep on spawning? I don't think they keep on spawning. I, I think maybe that I just didn't keep a count of them or something. Yeah, it looks to me like we're in the clear. And we should be able to get in there now. I'm just going to go over here to these corpses. We're chilly, so I think that we're okay. Like, we don't need a rush rush. But... I do want to get out of here. Let's see, what else do we have here? Honestly, I probably don't even need to be messing with these guys. I just need to get in and get out kind of thing. There's a science ID card right there. I'm going to use it, um, I think, to get these CBMs because I want that heat drain CBM. Oh wait, actually that's kind of, that wasn't what I was expecting it would do so hitting people gives you power hmm okay well I I mean that I think is worth it electroshock unit <laughs> so I could I could use that with my like Jane or my companion could use that with their battle axe I, that's kind of cool I like that you could have that with the heat drain and have it going like kind of continuously. Um, that actually, oh, bullets will be deflected. Active defense, that actually sounds like a really good CBM. Um, unauthorized access will result in lethal force. I mean, shouldn't I be able to just like hack my way in? I mean, I know that I can just phase my way in as well and just completely not worry about that. I think we're gonna, we should do that. That's that's the smart move to do here. Is just to probability travel our way in um, and grab that stuff and then and then get out. Um, let's go ahead and turn that off for now. Let's see. Oh wait, titanium skeleton, heat drain. I, I definitely want that one. I would like this one as well. Oh man, we're gonna have the issue of we don't have enough carrying capacity. Uh, can I eat the power from these guys and then just dump those? Yeah, I think that I'm, I'm just gonna dump a bunch of stuff here. I don't really need any of that. I mean, it'd be nice to have that flashlight, but I don't think we need too much more as well. Really? Okay, so we're going to need to go back and forth a few times, it looks like. So of these CBMs, what do I really want? I mean, that seems like a very good one, the heat drain. I'm, I'm also not familiar with it, so it makes me curious about it as well. Um, let's see. I definitely want that one. 
I can take that and one other one, I bet, if, I, if I'm smart about this. I don't really need all these bandages on me, do I? No, I don't need the gallon of bleach. No, it's, it's just I'm being silly by trying to hold on to that. I can take like all these, and then I I would like to take that too, but we're not gonna be able to. Maybe we'll come back for it. Yeah, we'll come back for it. Just wait, um, five minutes. Yeah, just a little bit longer actually. We'll teleport out and then we'll teleport back in. Okay. Looks good. And then just wait here for a little bit with your CBMs. I'll just wait. Like it says five minutes. It's not five minutes, but um, do I? If I ran out of power, I have ran out of power. That's why we're getting chilly so fast there. So we're gonna want to start getting out of here. So we'll we'll go in, we'll get get that stuff, and then we'll start moving out. And we might start getting some effects of hypothermia, but I think that we'll be okay. It says that we'll be frostbitten within an hour, but we'll be done with this within like 30 minutes or less. I just need to get in. Okay, we're getting very cold actually. Maybe we should... I'm rushing things is what I'm doing. I, I need to just get up and get out of here. And if you look at our speed, it's it's 25 right now. Yeah, we need to get out while we still can. Let's not panic though. What's the fastest way up? I mean, there's no real way to get up that's right by us, unfortunately. I should have kept an eye on our thermal temperature there. A little bit closer. Oh, look, there's actually some more of the place for us to explore down there. Okay, there's stairs up there. Is that the closest? I think that is. Yeah, so our stairs are up are over there. Um, so we want to cut uh, through here, it looks like. Yeah, I think that it's going to take us... We're actually... Yeah, this is a little close temperature-wise. And us being able to get out of here. And yeah, our temperature is falling. Okay, well, let's... Uh, I mean, it's still 25 is the thing. And we could maybe find a blanket and wear that blanket and it would um, prolong us a little bit longer. Okay, okay, we're we're not as hurt now. That's good. And we're, we're getting warmer is what it is. Um, Self-install bionics, that's, that's weird. Oh, I was trying to activate the thing. <sighs> I want to turn on the flashlight. So where do I want to go from here to get out? Yeah, we need a warm up right now. Okay, so right there. Cool. Yeah, we're gonna take more damage, unfortunately. And let's go ahead and get the repair and sensory dealing, because I think we'll be in pain pretty soon. Insane cyber, you're my friend though. Yeah. I got worried for a minute there, but we're fine. Okay, we are getting warmer now, but we're hurting. And we got cool CVMs. And our friends here. Hello, friend. Um, I'm looking at things though, and we're getting close to the half an hour mark. So I'm thinking I'm probably just gonna take care of just getting the last of that stuff out of the lab, and then have you guys join back up with us. Uh, I don't know. Maybe we'll uh, we'll see what adventures will go on then when we get to that point. You know. Um, but yeah, thank you for joining me. This has been Orange One.